Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. And we're here with Scotch on our Valentine's Day show. Because Scotch is really good for everything. <laughs> it really? Yes, it is. You can put it on wounds. You can feed oh. it to babies. Who needs penicillin? It's good for babies. Actually, there's a drink called the penicillin made with scotch. Uh-huh. Funny you should mention it. Mm. It works. My wife has used it numerous times in the past three months to keep a disease away from her. Oh, What okay. happened to our thing? Anyway, game? Are we still shooting? Our monitor went out, but that's, that's okay with us. Right. Oh, good. Anyway... Uh, so the penicillin is like a shot of scotch, uh, yes. lemon, honey, and ginger liqueur, preferably. Hmm. It's really good. But we're not doing that because we're not sick here yet. You were, you were coughing the other day. I had a little thing. Yeah, a but, little thing. All right, yeah. that's over. So it's, it's not the uh, coronavirus, so don't worry. It's not the corona? I'm pretty sure, anyway. It's a bi-corona? I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, don't kiss me. We should wear masks, maybe. We should. That way, nobody would ever hear us. Every, ever. I'll wear um, so do you, people, Valentine's. People you know, well, our producer just said he doesn't understand scotch, but you understand scotch. Well, you know, I'm not fluent in it, but really? uh, I do like the Scots people very much. Well, once you drink it, you're not fluent at all. I know more about the Irish people than I do the Scotch people. But do you know about their alcohols? Oh, Scotch, I think, is is one of the hardest to learn. It shouldn't put people off. It's a uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like cognac. For many cognac people. has a good, you know, crazy flavor. Uh, and each I, Scotch is different. We know that they're totally different. There are like 240 different distilleries in Scotland. Some of them <laughs> don't do their own blends, but they or they don't do their own name. They give it to the blends, like yes. doers. Most of these are not blends. No, these are not blends. These are not blends. They're from specific distilleries. We're going to start with this Tomatin, which is a 12-year-old. And the exciting thing that makes this uh, scotch tasting different than any others we've done. We did others in the beginning. We've done them before. We've done it, yes. Uh, These are all scotches that were in barrels that held other stuff. And our first half of the show will be barrels that are formerly bourbon and sherry. Not together, separate. They bring the bourbon in, they put the scotch in the bourbon barrel, and they put it in the sherry or vice versa. And and some of these bourbons and sherries have been in there for many years. Yes, and it softens it up. Uh, I think my first taste of a double-barreled scotch was Balvenie Double Wood. Was that in Scotland when you were there visiting? No, I had it before we went to Scotland. Oh. It's a good basic uh, scotch. Okay, now, you want an ice cube, right? I, I, I kind of like to have an ice cube. Yeah, okay. And you're going to do it without it? I do it straight. We, and then we'll just compare. From a child, I, I drank it straight. Oh, okay. So, you know, I don't want to go back on that. Now, like I mentioned, this is our Valentine's Day show. And Are you doing anything special for, for Valentine's Day? You're yeah, probably going shopping. Mm. <laughs> Did um, you want some scotch? Just a wee bit. We're just tasting, you know that. Yes. And... Uh, there's lots of places where you can go out and have a nice Valentine's Day dinner uh, at various you, restaurants around town. You hate doing town. that. You always go... I do not do that. You always go uh, February 13th or I go the 15th. night before because they're already well stocked up. They have everything. As and, they say in Scotland. And there's no crowd. You don't have to wait. Yes. It's the okay. same Scotland. Slangeva. Slangeva. They say that's what they say. They say Slangeva. Yes. But Slangeva is in Scotland. It's a whole different language. This is a good sip and whiskey. man. You can sip this all night. This is really good. I, I like mean, it with good, ice Okay, it has a bite. Oh. It's got the bite. Yes. You, you want. But, it, but, you know, that bite opens up your palate. Are you going to rinse it in your between your teeth? You gave it some air, and it's it's quite it's quite the scotch. <laughs> These it are, really is. Where, where's my camera? These are traditional uh, scotch tasting uh, glasses, shaped, shaped like that so that the aroma goes up the chimney into your nose and chokes you a lot. Well, it's almost like a brandy sniffer where the, the heat from it is, the hand yes. warms And the also, it makes, it makes the smell go into a, a point, so it doesn't get dissipated. So, it goes, so your nose goes right in it. Yeah. These it's are nice. from Oban. Oban is a good scotch, too. But this is Tomatin. Um, I think the Balvenie is softer. We don't have Alvin here. That's my touchstone. Okay. But this one has a, a good bite. Well, you know, it's only going to be like a month and a half before we'll be doing Irish whiskey for St. Patty's Day. That's true. Which we do every month. Every year, rather. And we do it every month. Oh, no. Okay. Every yeah. I would. On the show, right. we do it every year. Yes. And, uh, um, so. Although we need a gimmick this year. 
Don't worry, I'll come up with one. Okay, we'll have a green. We'll dress in green this time. Or we'll turn green. We'll do green hair, hair like the Joker. Oh, okay. I understand you have to take an acid bath or something. <laughs> That's been disproven. <clears throat> so don't try that at home, kids. Well, you know, besides the pleasures of a nice scotch whiskey, whiskey, the city also voted this week to support the legal cannabis state bill that's in the works. I think that was the state. No, the city council was that voted six to one. Mayor oh, yes. oh yes, that one voted yes. against. That's true. He was the only. He, he was alone. Oh, I was thinking of the the uh, red flag laws. That was, that was today or yesterday or whatever day you're watching. So anyway, the state is uh, is considering you know legalizing recreational marijuana, and uh, the governor's office says that. If passed, the bill will bring in $100 million in revenue within five years and will put to put lots of people to work. That's true. And so uh, there goes, uh, you know, anybody thinking they can't get a job. <laughs> well, you, you know, can get stoned and get a job at the same time. Think about that. We already have, you know, hemp was legalized several the years idea of hemp, before. Yes. Just hemp, which is not smokable. Yes. And we already have two hemp facilities going in to Las Cruces hemp growing and processing facilities. I know somebody who's got his own hemp fields uh -huh. and they're doing CBD oil, which yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. He's going to specialize in CBD oil for horses mm. that have pains. We could have him here on the show. Remember, we also had a guy on the show from uh, okay. the real estate company. We'll have him. <laughs> Ty, that's a threat. Well, I, there we go. So okay, so horse weed. Horse weed. Yes. Let's. <laughs> Seeing those horses smoking in a joint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we'll get uh, uh, a, a state bill. Now, the Bowling Alley Massacre happened 30 years ago uh, this month in Las Cruces. It happened like... Perpetrators walked into the Bowling Alley. Four years before we moved here. Perpetrators walked in and massacred a bunch of people. I recognize those they guys. They shot like seven people, killed uh, most of them. Not all of them. You know, we're, we're showing two heads. One is the way the guy would have looked uh, 30 years ago. The other one is the way he looks now. How he might look so, so if you see the one that my hand is over, that's not him because that would have been 30 years ago. Yeah. That's, that's the guy now. So okay. if you no. see him, the, oh, the two other don't guys. call him up. There's two other guys. There's another guy. Where, where are we? Two. Below here, yeah. down here. I can't show you. But. Uh, <laughs> Lionel Richie could have done it. Mm. Yeah, he's uh, it's my uh, opinion that the, the people who did it are dead. They've been dead for years and years, decades. Pretty much. My they, opinion too. They came down here from Mexico uh, up, up here. to collect money. Uh, probably a drug deal gone bad. They were supposed to collect a bunch of money. They tried to break into the safe. They weren't smart enough to do it. So they killed everybody there and they went back Not to Mexico. everybody. Some people lived. Right. Yeah. They went back to Mexico without the money, having killed a bunch of people. And I think the so people that sent it, them up had them bumped off for doing such probably, ridiculous it's, things. It's a failed heist. We've seen that yes. TV show before. Yes, then you do that, you get bumped off. What's interesting, before we moved, this happened here, like four months before uh -huh. we moved here. We knew we were moving here, and then we were giving it second thoughts, and we thought, well, that already happened. No, you don't bowl anyway. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so sorry, Charlie honest. Min, who made the documentary film about it back in 19, uh, 2011, I had him on this show then. And he's re-released the film. It's going to be playing this uh, this month once or twice over at the uh, Cineport. Uh, oh, the Cineport. 10. Not even the Rio Grande. Huh? He's going to be showing it over there, and uh, he'll do a second showing if the first one sells out. And he's he's added a few elements, a couple of interviews with the current uh, investigators. I think on the fifth anniversary, we did a um, reading for the Bowling Alley Mass. Uh -huh. We we collected money for books for students. I don't know why, but we did it. And you know, spare books? A spare books, yeah. It's a bowling joke, Michael. <laughs> it strikes me as funny. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, you know, let's move on to jury what duty. What happened to the, the canned laughter? That needed canned uh, laughter. It really uh, needed canned laughter. We'll add it later. Oh, no. that's our canned laughter audience. Welcome to our that's audience. A, that's our audience They're in the studio there. Yeah. I was tapped for jury duty last month, and uh, they ne I, you know, I never had to go in. but. It's because you don't know how your phone works. <laughs> Ooh, I have a warrant out. Maybe maybe you do. You don't know about that either. Your phone no, works. I actually got a letter from them thanking me for my service. Uh, but jury duty in Las Cruces only pays seven dollars and fifty cents. Now, an hour or a day? An hour. Well, that's big money here. Well, the Las Cruces minimum wage then was it was ten dollars and, and uh, ten cents. 
That was, this is in December. Yeah. So how can they charge, how can they pay less money than the standard minimum wage in Las Cruces? They're not really paying you for working. They're paying you for being there. No, they're paying for you sitting. Whatever it is. If you're, you're sitting. If you're deliberating, you're working. I don't think I pay you seven bucks. How can they sitting. pay seven fifty an hour when the minimum wage in Las Cruces was ten ten? It's now ten twenty five. But it's not a job. Do you get taxed on it? I'm sorry. It Do you get taxed on it? Yes. I'm sure you, it's income. Yeah, yeah. It's income. They pay the judge. It's, it's like a present. The judge just sits He's there. He's got a job. He earned a job. You the, didn't earn. You you sat on the jury for a favor. Have a job takes them away from this from their real jobs so most people see that's why it's a little twisted because most people who are there don't necessarily have to how can they pay some of them do how can they be allowed to pay 750 an hour the state minimum wage is nine dollars an hour why are you asking the people that are watching I'm asking show? you oh I'm just not looking at you oh you are actually I can see you. okay hi. yeah now you are you are actually looking straight at so me. I don't know I don't know how they get away with it they never called me in had they done so I would have asked them that very question <laughs> oh, can I get a raise? Well, I think they want to see how you do first. Oh, it's if not you an do audition. Well, yes, if you. Uh, well, it kind of is. You have it to, is an audition. You have to say, uh, ah. You know, and you didn't get called in the whole month, or did you have two months? One month. One month, three. December. You have to call in every night. That's right. To find and, out. And you have to be nervous every night <laughs> about you don't for know. remembering to go. I used to call like at <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, oh, I forgot to call last night. And you wonder, oh, thank gosh. Yeah, well, you know what? I was going to physical therapy, and I had to, I had to cancel physical therapy because because of the jury duty thing. My physical therapy place, uh, if you miss your schedule, if you miss your session, you pay. You have to pay fifty dollars. Well, you don't know if you have jury duty until the night before. So well, you could say I had I couldn't do it. You, no, you can give an excuse. No, they, they if I didn't want to risk having to pay fifty dollars every time I get called in for jury duty. No, no, you give so I had to cancel you, physical therapy. I told you them give an excuse to the jurors. We had to go on vacation. We were forced to. Yes. Uh, and you tell them I'm going on vacation. But uh, you know, and this vacation is planned ahead. I have physical therapy. I was happy Obviously. to do jury duty, Michael. I was happy to do it. I would be too. I've I've always kind of wanted to do it. So do you know how not to get called? Any other time? Call you? Do it. Well, you just. I mean, if you get on, if, if you're on the voters' records, you get called. Right, but you know, once you're on in the docket and you get called for yes. a particular trial, right. you just tell them what your opinion is of the trial. You know, they tell you what he's, the facts oh, of the trial is. Yeah. Or if you have family members in law enforcement, they don't want you. Yeah. If if it's a rape case and you've ever been raped, they don't want you. Oh, so you'll never get a job. <laughs> I haven't been raped that often. Well, just here though, so. That's just good. on yeah, the show, yeah. yeah. The pay that we get for this show is kind of rapery. You need a rape raise. Yeah. I don't like to make light of rape though. Don't. You shouldn't. But I didn't say anything. So seven fifty an hour for you to make a joke. Okay, did you want to keep going? Yeah, let's do that. We don't know how long we have. Well, the school board. Things just keep turning around. We got to fit. Oh, you know what? You know, we didn't even finish this. Well, well this, come on, let's go. Yeah. The school board, you know, has been under a great deal of fire. They got rid of the uh, Greg Ewing, the superintendent. They put uh, Karen uh, Trujillo. Trujillo in as temporary superintendent of schools. They just made it official this week mm -hmm. that they've appointed her for the job with a two-year contract. Well, so, congratulations to her. I'll drink to that. Second drink, Let's man. do so. We got we got to have it before the show has a an advertisement. We've only got a couple of minutes S left. Sponsored by uh, Scotch. That's right. Oh, this next one is Glen Gariach. It too is uh, made with a bourbon and sherry cask. So we're te we're we're just comparing light versus light and see the difference okay. between the two distilleries. I think it has a more subtle bouquet. Yeah. Well, you can smell more sherry. I don't mm. know. Or more. You know it smells like sherry. More sherry, sherry or more. Mm. 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 This a, is, it seems a more broader flavor. Around. Yeah. 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 Something. It's nice. Glen Gariach. And you get to say Glen Gariach. <laughs> hey, That's by the way, have, did yes. you know that, the, that New Mexico is contemplating a bill to have the presidential election oh. in four years to be first ahead of Iowa and New Hampshire. And they're going to be first in January. So that means, I think it would be a boon to the state financially. She's not on that picture. That's the, because uh, all the people running for president will have to come here to get New Mexico to vote for them. It won't be a caucus, it'll be a primary. Right, the caucus was in Iowa, which was screwed up, but a primary means you, man in the street, the people you get vote, to vote. Not delegates. And we don't give them credit for 
Although I do know I get twice as many votes as you. Well, because you vote often. I have many aliases. Oh. Yeah. It's the only way to get around in this world. <laughs> you know, you get more jobs, you get twice so, as many. We'll I, do, I do uh, yeah. twice as much jury duty. That way I get $14 now. Oh, you yeah. own as two people. As two people, I get paid twice. I see. Well, is, is that our time? I didn't know you were two-faced. Who's that guy there? Let's take, a, let's take a break. He looks like a disconcerted popcorn salesman, doesn't he? Something like that. Used car salesman, carnival barker, or something like I don't that. Know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I was just figuring that it would happen. Let's take a break right now, and we will come back. And on the next half, we'll have witnesses. We're going to call some witnesses, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Those days are gone. No. After these words. After these words. us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's health care system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575 650 3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. Hi folks, we're welcome back to Double Talk. We're welcome back. We're back, welcome back to us. We still have our microphones. We do. Can and you hear me? Hey, hear I want to mention something. I went to a brand new business downtown on Main Street. Uh, happens to be at uh, 130 South Main Street. It's right below Griggs. Just below Griggs, right next to Mass Art. And uh, it's called... All places which you've never heard of, right? It's called Downtown Blues Coffee. You said it was uh, kind of uh, quirky. It's funky. You you, got a, they have used you records. You said funky, right? Funky. Yes, okay. Uh, they have yeah, a lot of used records for sale. They yeah. have uh, used the knickknacks and things like that for you sale. Know, Paintings like, on the wall for it sale. It sounds good because I like used coffee. Do you ever have used coffee? Oh, it's goodness. richer. They put it in bourbon casks. Oh. Yeah. Well, is, is, is it the same thing as leftover coffee? No, it's oh. used. I, I have think that it's spit back. Yeah. Oh. It's like those monkeys that eat coffee beans. And they have a drum set there. People can go in and uh, musicians can fall in. Jam a little bit if you want to. It's kind of a cool place. You I haven't been there drums, at night right? yet. Yeah. I've played drums. That's okay, the, well, I'll have to go. That's now. the only instrument I've ever thought I was qualified for. Well, that's good. You play drums. You said they have records. I play records. So, so we can jam out, We maybe. can jam, man, with uh, records and drums. It'll be good. And he's, got a, he's right. got a turntable there. He's always got one playing. That, that's funky. It is cool. Yeah. How many people were there when you were there? There were more people working there than was there. I was the only customer. <laughs> it wasn't a customer. I was just a curious person. Uh, there was like three people who worked there there. Well, speaking of non-customers, I did what we were talking about Zafiro's. I think last week we were talking about it among ourselves. Yeah. About how they no longer make the bread to sell. They don't give it, they, apparently they don't give it for free like uh, Zafiro's used to. So I put it on the table in a basket. They don't like do the pizza like they used to. 
What well, that, do they do? We don't know. I didn't see. I checked it out on. Uh, We've been getting nothing but bad reports on this place. And, yeah. and frankly, I'm not anxious to go there We're and try it out. We're not saying we got bad reports. I only, I only got one. But yeah. that's not much from. Nobody really ate there. I did talk to somebody who loves. You remember their pizza they had with sliced thin lemon, prosciutto, and asparagus. It was great. Okay, it wow. was great. I don't uh, eat prosciutto, but. Uh, that you it's, could. It's, it's, made, it's not made out of animal. <laughs> of course it's not. It's, no, prosciutto is a it's vegetable. Ham. It's a vegetable it's from ham. Italy. It grows from the fields. Where the pigs run yes. wild. Yeah, the figs. Yes. Okay. Well, food and drink is our favorite topic on this show, as you can tell. Oh, what drink. Are, what are we going to taste, Michael? Oh, this, this nice one. Deanston is a, an interesting one. This is a special uh, 2008. This one came out. It's nine years old. Uh, it came from a Red Bordeaux wine barrel. I, I have underwear older than that. <laughs> you can smell it. You, got, you need another cube? No, I'm good. Okay. Are you well iced? I'm going to try it this enough? time. I'm going Almost. to try it this time without the ice. So Deanston, the regular Deanston I had, it's, uh, it's uh, distilled in a way so that it is amazingly clean flavor. It's different than other you scotches. You mean it's multiply distilled? More than no, once? no. It's ice. Like vodka? It's ice distilled. So hmm. it's colder and it doesn't get as... Makes a difference, huh? Yeah. But this one Ooh, is... Uh, it has... Quite a different uh, nose to it. Yes, it's uh, an interesting one. I mean, Bordeaux. Hmm. That's a full-bodied uh, scotch right there. It's perfect. Yeah. It's simpler. It's simpler than the other two, which have a combination of sherry and bourbon. It's, Amy. it's more perfect than Trump's phone calls. Nothing is more perfect than Trump's phone calls. I was paid to say that. Now, uh, this is good stuff. I recommend this as well. Oh, um, would you, which ones were you recommending here? It, well, all, all three. I think of, I like this one better. This is good. Than that one, but I like that one a lot. Oh, you mean this one? Yes, this is no, the Tomatin. Denston. I like Tomatin. Deanston was really good. Okay. This was Deanston. Did we have this one? Uh, that was the first one You're we had. You're confusing me. You're that doing the, the first old one we had. shell game on You me. moved it, and uh, you know that's why we can't see. Everything's backwards in the camera. I'm going to have to try them again to make sure I know. We better hurry then. <laughs> so. Okay, we're going to do uh, Deanston, <clears throat> and after this we'll do Edredor, which is the smallest distillery in Scotland. Oh, this one right Yet here. it has yeah. the most bottles in their storage, uh -huh. apparently. And cask stored. And so, yes, these are... Deanston was Red Bordeaux. The Edredor will be a Chardonnay, and you'll see that you see that this one is the most that we've You've been used. Hitting that one it's the most. really, really a wonderful uh, combination of stuff. Anyway, hey, so you know, we'll get to it today, Saturday, down over in uh, Messiah. Today, Saturday, the Cupid's Chase 5K Run is going on, and uh, that's in support of disabled folks. Yeah. Uh, it begins at the at the Messiah Plaza. So if do we in, miss it already? What if time? You're, no, Saturday. If you're no, in the Messiah, time? well, it's, it's early in the morning because you have people like you. I, I, I miss it. If cause... you're in the Messiah area in, uh, Saturday morning today, beware because traffic may be messed up a little bit to accommodate uh, the runners on the 5K. How long does it take to run five kilometers? Five kilometers. I don't mean like you. Three miles. I don't mean so you. I mean take the about an person. hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's five kilometers an hour. That's I no, can run, I could run that. I, yeah, it's like when you do when you walk on a treadmill. I usually go three point five Hell, miles can, an hour. Yeah, you can walk that. Yeah, well, the way you run, it's walking. I can do that backwards. You call it walk running. <laughs> Maybe I can it's walk it. That would look cute. Just remember to wear your sports bra because it could be scary. Could hurt something. Now, uh, also That's today, Pluto mania. Pluto mania. You know the planet Pluto, not the cartoon dog from Disney. That's that, his there nose. It is. That's his nose. I'd know Pluto anywhere. Pluto's not a planet. Although it looks like a planet. Well, well it's not a planet. No, it's a, it's a dwarf planet. It's a gumball or a marble. We're not sure what it is. It's one of several dwarf planets that we now know that we have. Uh, but it has two satellites going around it. It makes it a planet, kind of. If uh, Clyde Tombaugh was around, he could argue the case. Yes, and at the Museum of, really of uh, mm. Nature and Science today, downtown at 12 o'clock, uh, we'll be looking at there'll be Pluto. A, there'll be a Pluto exhibit, and and Clyde Tombaugh's homemade telescope will be there on display, and you can actually look through it at the sun. 
He was uh, almost a, a, you know, a hobbyist who found a planet. Yes. I once found one, it was in my garage, but I, I threw it away. Yes, uh, this is the anniversary of his discovery of the planet Pluto. He discovered it on February 18th in well, 1930, Michael. Wow. We and had planets in 1930? Oh, this God. Is, this, is, this is the farthest out planet that we've ever seen. That's pretty sophisticated. That's pretty cool. And uh, he had a lot of patience <laughs> to sit there and watch. You're an astronomer yeah. looking for a planet that you don't yeah, even know that's exists. Crazy. It takes a lot of patience. So we're on to the next thing, which is a topic we like. Well, in a way. Yes, the Donata Arts Council is having their classical drinking session. Yes. They have it every year, don't they? I mean, every no, month. No, we've, we've been doing it regularly uh, for the... Monthly, right? I'm on the board, so I can tell you yes. that tonight we believe it will be pretty much uh, free wine, I think. 7.30 to 9.30. Uh, yes. And, uh, uh, what happened? We, $15 to get in, Mike. Yes, but I think what will happen tonight is uh, free wine. Because uh, apparently the Dry think? Point Distillery uh, no longer wanted to do it because uh, they weren't making money off of classical music people. Not enough people were buying their cocktails. Their, their cocktails. So I think we're doing uh, free wine. Well, good. Yes. Any hors d'oeuvres, that kind of thing? There's always not. Are there? Yeah. But it's $15. Now, who's playing the music? I don't know. Do you have the list? It's retired. Actually, it's supposedly it's retired professional musician. Yes. Who are playing. And it's the guy with the tuba. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. What's his name? I, I, I don't know, but... We're not good at names. That I'm not starts good at, at 7.30. Yeah, if you like some really cool Is that cool the Donana Arts Council? I think there's free wine. Most of it I'll be Come getting. on down. Tonight, 7.30. It would be great. Yeah, it's music. It's oh, yeah. booze. Who can beat it? Now... That's what you used to do in college, right? A dry yeah. point distillery is just next door anyway. That's true. You could go over afterwards. Who would do that? <laughs> we did that <laughs> last time, people, didn't we? Yes. People I know. Not bad. Now, oh, wait. If you yes. go to dry point, ask for the uh, martini. They have to give you it. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, now, this also being February, this is the For the Love of Art Month. Happens every year this time around. So there's all kinds of artsy, craftsy things going on around Doniana County. Yeah, in, Last uh, day of the month. I notice of that. We're wow. doing a uh, poetry reading for the love of arts month at the Center for Spiritual Living. Yes. At about two thirty. This we're gonna do. We're gonna quickly do our final. Okay. Drink that up. Drink that up. You okay. can't. I believe in mixing cocktails, not scotches. Now, if you're into backyard birds and you you want to attend birds. the backyard bird count, there's a class from one to ten. Uh, the phone number to. You have to RSVP. Yeah, please five, RSVP. Two, three, the birds have to know how five, many to serve. Five two three five four eight nine. Uh, if you have five two three, there it is. Five two three five four eight nine. Right. Say, oh, by the way, this is also Black History Month. That's right. And Isn't it a Women's Something Month? Arsenic and Old Lace is going on. Arsenic and Old Lace and Old. The Killing Game is going on. That's a play by Ian Esco, one of your yes. favorite playwrights, as it is mine. Yeah, it's Black History Month, yes. as I said. Still. Also, we want to pay homage to Kirk Douglas, one of the greatest movie stars of all time. Who would appreciate us drinking That's scotch? Right. He died and... this month at age 103. Kirk, we love you. Yes. You know, he's the one that brought, helped bring the blacklist to an end by he, hiring, hiring Dalton Trumbo to write the screenplay for, for Spartacus and put his, his name in the credits. I Good for him. for that. Kirk Douglas, and thank you for Michael Douglas. So, yeah, yeah <laughs> right. So we're out of time. Are we out of time? Can we have a, I got some quarters. I'm going to put some more quarters in there. Where's the machine that you put the quarters in for your show to go on? Yeah, right here. Put right it in there? Yeah, I'll get it right there. Yeah. What do you think of this? This is quick. I know we have we, we get This is pretty good stuff. It's very different. I love how different these are. Different but good.